star-studded field indeed. Okay, obviously uh, cars are able to be repaired all away. The 89 certainly there, and Wallace blasting away in the Wayne Nielsen Motorsport 89. Hoping his luck holds Darren Bryan, giving him plenty of hurry up. As they come on to the main stride first time, we're asking Jason Bell up there in first spot. Fallen by Anthony Chaffee, the 2010 Victorian and the 2016 South Australian title holder. But what a race we've got up in front. Vine a little bit out of shape, drops back a couple of things, and Jason Bell right up there too. This run he's had here for quite a while, not renowned for the best of luck at this venue. For Jason Bell, that he's uh, proving it all wrong tonight. He's looking good up in front of Anthony Chaffee. Fallen by Rusty Whittaker and uh, Scotty there giving Rusty a bit of up. Oh, a half lose down there for Anthony Chaffee. He's going to pick it up and get going again in the 25 car and does so now. So it's the 89. What a race between these two. Adam Wallace and Darren Bryan. It's hard to watch the others as these two blast away. Good running by Vine, he could have made it a look more difficult very gentlemanly. That's experience for you. Trying outside, trying inside. Oh, he knew that was happening, Wallace. And he covered it. He covered it. But how for how long? Vine on the outside, he will not be denied. And down Vine away. Whoa, what a run by these guys. Rusty when he kept flying as well out there. Big the defending series champion putting in the big yards as well. It's uh, Vine from Wallace. When he got Jason Bell. Arguably the drive of the race by Rusty. Rusty really is coming from the clouds. So he only two laps to go. It's there in line. Out of Wallace, Rusty Whittaker in the line to make it 82 of Bell. It's only of Scotty Bell, the 25 Anthony Chaffee. And you can forget the rest with due respect, including Mitchell Rook. Right playing out this time around, and look at the uh, arguing over placings here. It's still there and Ryan, and tenaciously hanging on to the second spot there. This is the 89 of Adam Wallace. Rusty's going to have one last go at him. Can't do it. Darren Ryan takes the win. See how he from the right. In the 89, Adam Wallace in second by third, then by Rusty Whittaker, car 78. We did a great job in third spot. Followed by the 82, Jason Bell in fourth. Scotty Doyle in the 80, Anthony Chaffee in the 25. 14, Michael Arters and 34, Mitchell Rook followed. 220.53 won the time and the best time in the race, 13.638 to the 78 of Rusty Whitaker, who was absolutely flying at the end, but nobody was flying harder than this man. We're just about to hear from courtesy of Chris. Thank you. Yeah, thanks, Bob. Anything Darren Kane can do, Darren Vine can do just as well. So he gets his second heat race win for the night as well so both Darren's doubling up in their heat so far and I reckon the feature race tonight in the midst of the track stays like this it is going to be an absolute cracker. Rusty Whitaker was flying home then. Darren good run again obviously that time you had to sort of go and be a little bit patient but the outside got the outside to work to take you to the front so it must be good to know the car's fast sort of everywhere. Yeah no, it's definitely nice and easy to ride for definitely this thing going around nice and probably on the cushion it feels quite comfortable. Uh, great run mate, two wins from two starts, perfect start for the night, cannot do any better than that, great run and drove brilliantly to get to the front on both occasions. Bob, next heat out and it's really ramping up tonight, it's going to be a great night as we progress through into the feature races. We'll go back to you for our fourth heat for Polarized Midgets. Thanks mate.